Peace, family. What's good? It's your man, Ocean. We back at it. The Freedom Fight continues. Thank you very much for being here, man. I very much appreciate it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share my video as soon as you come in the room. I very much appreciate that as well. Help your boy get to a thousand. That's what's going on. Um, Tonight, we got a story in WOW Crimes, man. This is a pretty awful situation out of Pennsylvania, man. It's a psychotic dude buries his daughter, man. His six-year-old daughter, he buried her alive in the backyard overnight, man. So, yeah, these people are totally fucking whacked out. And it's, you know, it's, it's crazy that these type of people actually walk the face of the earth that they actually exist on the earth but like somebody told me an old person told me before it take all kind to make the world go around so apparently that include these type of motherfuckers here but anyway it says a uh, um, pennsylvania man buried six-year-old daughter alive in the backyard and left her overnight like i said just wow this 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 shit this the nigga right here this this nigga remind me of one of my favorite rap lyrics from from Skip on um you on the on one of the songs he did with Juvenile. It's like nigga, look look at my face. This how death look. This how this nigga look to me. This nigga look like death. Even though he ain't killed a little girl, this nigga look like death in the face. And I I'm mean, yeah I know I speak with a country accent and it sound like I said death. Like you can't hear, but no, I meant death. Like fucking Grim Reaper. Like he he can to the Grim Reaper. He ain't the Reaper, but he can to that motherfucker though. Anyway, man, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into this story, man. It says uh, a Southwest Pennsylvania man has been arrested for brutally abusing his six year old daughter. John Kraft of Waynesboro was jailed after police interviewed the girl and her siblings who said that her father buried the girl alive in a hole in the yard overnight that left her smelling like sewage. So, get a load of this nigga, man. This is, you gotta be a sick individual for your mind to even go to a place where you could take a child outside and dig a hole and stuff her in it and 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 pack it back and bury her alive so that's sick within itself then throw in the fact that it's his own baby girl his own flesh and blood own little girl that he been raising since six he buried her alive what the fuck could she have done that bad that he buried his baby Alive outside. That's just some wild ass shit. Uh, I just can't even. You know what I mean? That's just that's just Father. crazy. Right and we're now. learning more. Uh, yeah, we gonna get to that video right there. It's Tonight same, about a startling to abuse video. case in Waynesburg. Erica Standish is live with the latest from police. Erica. Yeah, according to paperwork, the child's father, John Kraft, would bury his daughter in a hole outside when he thought that she was lying to him. He's now behind bars with the D.A. promising that he will be prosecuted, prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. This is a barbaric situation. Uh, and my office will not tolerate child abuse in this county. A Green County man behind bars facing child abuse charges after police say he assaulted his six-year-old daughter. According to a criminal complaint, the victim stated to a CYS worker that her father, 50-year-old John Kraft, would hit her with his hands, belt, and arm, which had a metal plate inside. Her older brother also reporting to CYS, he witnessed Kraft bury his sister in the yard on one occasion, leaving her outside in the free cold all night. The allegations are that this child was beaten brutally, that the child had bruises all over her body, that she was choked and to the point that she had passed out. She was buried in a hole uh, as punishment. Uh, she was thrown in a hole overnight. 
Um, her head was slammed off the wall and slammed off the floor. Paperwork says the child reported to CYS Kraft did this as punishment when he thought she was lying. Police say the child's stepmother intervened at least once when Kraft was assaulting the six-year-old and gave her a bath one night after she was buried alive. The district attorney calling it one of the worst child abuse cases he's seen. We will not tolerate it in our county and this individual will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You know, our children deserve better than this. Now, Kraft is facing several charges tonight, including endangering the welfare of children, uh, aggravated assault and strangulation. Now, he's in the Greene County prison tonight, and he has a preliminary hearing scheduled for November 7th. Reporting live in Waynesburg, Erica Stanish, KDK News. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a that's a that's a wild dude right there, man. That's a pretty psychotic, psyched out, psychotic dude, man. And he says, um, you know, he 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 got a slew of charges, and I'm gonna get to those in just a few minutes. But I just can't even get over the fact that a motherfucker could like, where do you come up with this shit at? If a baby need to be punished, this is like some barbaric before the time. This is bullshit, bro. How in the fuck could you do that to the, a little bit of child? Shit, just retarded. Uh, somebody need to bury his ass alive so he can see how I feel. It says social workers in Greene County found uh, severe bruising on her face and body last month, according to police, who documented old and new bruises on her body. The girl told officers that Kraft frequently beat her with belts and his arm, which is which has a metal rod surgically implanted in it. And he allegedly choked his daughter until she blacked out. So this shit get even more diabolical. This nigga got a metal rod in his arm that he when the little girl get out of line, he go cross her shit with it. Like, bruh, this person don't deserve to be have no kids. This person don't deserve to have no freedom. This person deserve to be to get some of his own treatment, some of his own medicine, bruh. So I hope they lock this nigga up and he he run into the right type of situation. I know they don't they don't treat children child abusers very well in there so i know he got something coming to him so he he but whatever he got coming to him he very much earned it i i guarantee you and i don't i don't think it's gonna be a a a, a nice situation for him when he when he make it to where he going for this bullshit what did he say okay Kraft has been charged with multiple counts of aggravated assault, simple assault, strangulation, endangering the welfare of children, reckless endangerment, false imprisonment of a minor, and unlawful restraint of a minor. Okay? So he remains in jail and he was unable to post bond according to the court records. So the nigga's still in jail. I can't imagine why in the fuck he would have a bun. Beats the fuck out of me. Why he got a bun? This nigga is a prolific child abuser. He's a professional child abuser. He beat his baby with a metal rod in his arm, man. Let's see. What the, it, it, let, let's read that last paragraph again. Kraft has been charged with multiple counts of aggravated assault simple assault strangulation endangering the welfare of children reckless endangerment false imprisonment of a minor and unlawful restraint of a minor oh yeah he got a bond he just ain't made it yet come on man you got people in in jail for shit that they ain't did people in jail for shit that they don't got no evidence for you got you got Rico charges on these rapper fake ass Rico charges, but anytime the um these white gangs, these white supremacy gangs, you can't find no Rico charges on them. But that's a whole nother situation. But this nigga right here, 
Why do he got a bond? Why do he got a bond? But anyway, this is just, let me know what you think about this. This is some wild ass shit, man. Every time WOW crimes, this shit is totally egregious, totally nefarious, totally just wicked, demonic ass shit that this dude is on, man. So, but like I said earlier, I think he, he got something coming to him when he get to jail. And um, I can't make up for the way that he, what he did to this little girl. And he got other kids apparently. So uh, I know he, I know this shit ain't just started. If he done got to the level that he got, where well, he burying motherfuckers, excuse me, well, he burying little children alive. So ain't no telling what all oh, this little girl done endured. They, we see what, we read a lot of the shit where she endured, but I'm sure it's more. And ain't no telling what the rest of the old kids endured. Fucking with a demonic ass, fucked up daddy that they got. And the bad part about that shit is if you could possibly take a glimpse or look into the future, Knowing what you knowing about the present and the past, hurt people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. So what in the fuck have he created? What kind of what kind of demonic ass intentions and seeds have he planted inside the brains and the demeanor of those babies that's gonna follow him? You can't even really categorize them as babies no more. They ain't innocent no more. Because of they daddy, they they father snatched their innocence from them, and now they gotta come into this world with that, you know what I'm saying? With that goddamn huge ass chip on their shoulder that shit been fucked up from the beginning. Cause this nigga was my daddy. So what in the fuck type of turmoil is they gonna bring to the world when they become of age and of size and of wit and of the opposite of merit. So, this nigga just, you know what I mean? If I was in control of things, which apparently I'm not, but if I was in control of things, in control of everything, these type of niggas would not be roaming the earth. The earth would be a lot. And it ain't just because he white. Any, if a black man, a Chinese man, any, whatever kind of man he is, is doing shit like this, I I despise him. I don't despise him no more or no less because he white. But this is just this is just wild crime. This is W O W crime. So that is what it is right there. But whoever whoever operate from a from a um a place that like where this place and where this person come from man you you whatever happened to you that bad that's bad happens just happened to you it's what you had coming is what you deserve but anyway man I, I i've been here long enough on this i ain't mean to stay that long but apparently i had to get that shit on now that's just the way it go i just go with the flow i stay in the spirit i try to and when i'm in there i try to stay in there so Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Definitely, I don't know if I said it earlier. I think I did say I remember saying it, but I'm going to say it again anyway. Like, subscribe, share my videos. Help your boy get to a 1,000. I'm on that mission right now. I very much appreciate you. It's your boy, Ocean. I'm out.